Probiotics are often bantered around in healthy weight loss discussions, but do they directly help your body burn fat? In today's video, I share the interesting facts about probiotics and weight loss. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky from drbeckyfitness.com. I'm a college instructor of the science of nutrition. If we look at the research, we see that the direct link between probiotics and fat loss is weak. A systematic review published just a few months ago took a look at relevant research from 1946 to 2016 and came to the conclusion that the effect of probiotics on fat mass was non-significant. Another systematic review paper published in 2015 came to the same conclusion, stating that after analysis, the data showed no significant effect of probiotics on body weight and BMI. So, are probiotics worthless when it comes to fat burning? No. Uh, first of all, both of these research papers had trouble finding studies that met their criteria. Uh, for instance, the more recent review started out with 800 articles but only included 15 in their final paper. And of those, the subjects only stayed on the probiotics for 3 to 12 weeks, which seems like a short time to fully evaluate how fat loss was impacted. Secondly, we, uh, when we take a look into consideration of uh, the positive effects that probiotics have on the gut microbiome, we see that probiotics have an indirect but intriguing impact on fat loss. Uh, for instance, numerous studies show that the gut microbiome of obese people differs substantially from that of lean people. And in fact, this study supports that observation by performing an interesting experiment. The researchers performed gastric bypass surgery on obese mice. Soon after surgery, they noticed that the gut microbiome of the mice changed in a way that resembled that of a lean mouse. So they were intrigued, so they went a step further and transplanted the intestinal bacteria from the gastric bypass mice into the, um, a group of unaltered mice, and the result was that those mice now rapidly lost weight. So when we look at the big picture, I think the full story of probiotics and fat loss has not been written yet. We need longer term studies and more understanding of the link between the bacteria that live in your gut and how they influence fat loss. Um, I will say that I didn't start taking a probiotic myself until recently. Um, I take Pure Encapsulation, which is a brand I trust. Uh, when it comes to uh, purchasing a probiotic, you don't want to look for the cheapest brand because they either contain hidden sugars or a poor variety of good bacteria. For instance, the first ingredient on this um, probiotic is maltodextrin, which is basically sugar. Uh, this high quality brand does not contain sugar and it has 10 billion uh, CFUs or colony forming units of many different strains of bacteria. It's good to aim for 20 billion to 50 billion CFUs per, per day. So starting with two uh, capsules from, from here is a good place for you to start. Um, I get this on Amazon. Uh, I'll leave a link to my Amazon affiliate shop if you're interested in looking at this brand. Um, I will also say that if you are going to make the investment of taking a probiotic every day to grow your gut garden, you'll be best served if you eat in a way that fertilizes that garden. Um, you do that by eating prebiotic foods, and these would be your high fiber foods, your leafy greens, vegetables, nuts and seeds, uh, as well as fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, um, kefir, um, uh, a good full fat yogurt with no sugar added is, an, is another way to get pre, uh, probiotics if you don't want to take one of the capsules. So probiotics are the seeds of your bacterial gut garden and prebiotics are the fertilizer. If you're taking a probiotic but eating a poor diet that's filled with sugar and it's lacking in fab uh, fibrous um, plant foods, you're taking one step forward and one step back. 
Um, you know, it's great that low-carb and ketogenic style diets are growing in popularity, but you don't want to abandon the nutrients your body thrives on, uh, that it gets from leafy greens and vegetables. Uh, you can balance these two worlds. Uh, My 0123 diet plan keeps your carbs low and your fiber high, and all the meal plans that come with the diet have been precisely formulated to keep your carbs below 25%, and fiber as high as 30 grams a day. Um, combine that plan with a high quality probiotic and you're doing some great things for your body and you'll be on track for healthy fat loss. So that's all, thanks for watching. Hey, please click that subscribe button and I will be back soon with a brand new video to help you reach your goal. Thanks.